Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first update of this product in 2021. So this is the whole collection product and pan and originally this was started by Becky Loves Kanga and as always I will have her listed in my description box. But this is also kind of like a group collab so I will have more information, inform, information? <laughs> information about that in my description box uh, where you can find others uh, other lovely planners doing this project as well and if you are doing it and you are not in the group chat on Instagram you can just let me know and I can add you add you to that group in this project you have all of your makeup items listed in a spreadsheet or Excel or whatever you use um, pen and paper <laughs> and then you randomly pick uh, 10 items in your intro to work on them and then you kind of set a goal my goals are usually to either finish it or to hit pan uh, if it's like a product in a pan um, but then I also have the rule for myself that if I hit my goal on 10 items then I'm allowed to kind of uh, remove some items and then draw some new items so just kind of switch around and I have hit my goal on 10 items once uh, and then now I'm working towards like hitting my goal on 20 items so that I can kind of do that again but we're not very close <laughs> uh, so but yeah I think I explained it. So you pick 10 and then you work on them and then as you hit your goal you kind of draw new products and then you just continue. So this is like the 16th update or something like that. For me I've been doing this for a very very long time. I think I started it in 2018 or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure and I know others are doing it completely differently than I'm doing but I'm a very like traditional planner. I like doing it like how it's traditionally done um, and that is like like this like in these worlds so yeah let's just get into my update on this product product this is actually a very exciting update so I'm really excited to kind of share my progress with you um, because since my last update I posted that in the beginning of December I believe and I feel like I've had a lot of progress a lot more progress than like previous months because I've been wearing my wearing my makeup wearing makeup a lot more uh, in December and January and I'm very happy about that even though I'm still working from home a lot uh, I've just been kind of motivated to to do my makeup even though I'm just at home just to kind of have my me time in the morning to just kind of sit down and do my makeup so yeah let's just I've said this before <laughs> let's just get into the update on my products I think I usually go from like when I first, the product I first put in to like the last product that I put in but I think today we're gonna go most interesting to least interesting uh, because we all want to see the most inter interesting products first uh, so first off I have this one this is the Colourpop eyeshadow in Hear Me Out and as you can hopefully tell this is completely empty I put up a picture with the weight from last time and also the weight from now which is the same so there was a very very low amount of product left in this one and I think I put this one I don't think I put it in in the intro but I think I put it in in like my first update or like one of the first update uh, updates and I'm so super excited that this one is uh, finally done if you haven't seen my other updates this was just like a eyeshadow that was kind of my skin tone a little bit lighter uh, and I used that to kind of set either set my eyeshadow all over my eyelid but what I usually do is that I will go in with something that is a little bit tacky or kind of silicone -y, and then I will put the eyeshadow that I'm wearing like on my lid I will put that on or like the matte in my crease I will put that on and then I will go in with oops dropped it but I will go in with a shadow like that kind of on my brow bone to just kind of blend out the edge and also kind of set the product that is on my brow bone uh, so I'm super excited that I finally used that up because it's been in this product for so long but now I find myself being completely lost like which, <laughs> what eyeshadow I, su I should use for that specific purpose because I, I still need it um, but I have some other my, in my collection so yeah I, I <laughs> I'm not gonna be uh, without but yeah it's just feels good 
Okay, and then the next one, which is also exciting, is also from Colourpop, also a single shadow. This is the one in Made to Last. And my goal for this one was to hit pan, and as you can see, I did. So when I put up the wig from last time, and this time, you can also see a picture that I, I had not hit pan in my last update. But you can also see that it gained one gram, so I'm not sure what happened there. But I have been using it quite a bit, and as you can see, I hit pan. So I haven't used it since I hit pan, but I'm, I'm just really excited that I did. And it's one of those eyeshadows that I might like pull for because I think it's a very, like even though I'm not panning it, I think it's a very good kind of everyday neutral. Uh, it can both pull warm, like more rosy warm, and it can also pull a little bit cool, um, like depending on what you pair with it. So yeah. I'm really excited that I used that enough to hit pan and I'm really happy to have it in my collection still. So yeah, those were two goals met which I'm super excited about. So now let's get into the items that I just had progress on that's still gonna be in this project. And at the end of the like at the end of my update we will pull in two new products, which is super exciting. I think I I don't think I've ever had an update where I pull in more than two, so that's really exciting. But another item that I feel like I have really good progress on is this one. This is the Sleek uh, Pure Color Lipstick in the shade Baby Doll. And this is a very, very kind of light pink. And I'm not using it on my lips because it's a very, very milky, pinky color. But I am wearing it uh, on my cheeks as a blush. So I've been wearing this as a cream blush for the past... Hmm, maybe December, like... Since I filmed my last update, which I posted it in early uh, December, but I think I filmed it like middle to end of November. But since then I've been using it as a cream blush almost every single day. And I think it lost 3 grams, I will put up on the screen uh, the progress. But I, I feel like you can actually tell from the picture that it has like uh, gone down. And I also feel like you can, or and also it has lost 0.3 grams of products, which is product which is really exciting because I feel like I'm finally getting some progress on this and I feel like I mean there are still quite a few uh, months to go probably uh, and I won't dig when it's done because I'm just kind of swiping it on like this and that would just be too much hassle and I think this is like one of the oldest lipsticks in my collection if I had to guess I would say like 2014 maybe I got this so yeah it's not worth kind of digging into it but I'm super excited that I'm making uh, a lot of progress in uh, on it and that I finally have the like possibility of using it uh, so regularly to uh, make some progress. Another product that I have great progress on is this Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and I have it in the shade F3 and I you can't tell where I am in this product but I think I'm like here because if I kind of pull out the wand and like I wipe it off it, it has one of these like um, applicators but if I pull it out and I like clean it off and then I put it in again I can kind of track where um, the stopper is from like product on the like on the one so if you can see it, it's like clean and then I will just put it in a bit and then there's like a marking here and I kind of use that to kind of guesstimate that I think I'm about somewhere like here uh, so I'm pretty far into this product which is exciting and um, I feel like I'm making great product progress. I am wearing it today, I'm wearing it like every time I'm doing my makeup. I feel like it has a really nice, uh, like it's easy to apply and very like non-messy. I don't have to put it on my hand or anything, I just put it straight on my face. And I feel like that's like good for using it every day and then also it has like just the right amount of coverage, like it covers but it doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. The only thing with this product that I don't like is that I find it very hard to um, kind of use with other products. Like it's very particular in which products I can use with it. Like I've never been able to use like a mattifying or like pore filling primer with this one because it just cakes, cakes up and looks uh, super weird. I use, like currently I use the Colourpop uh, Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating, hydrating primer or what that one is called and that works and then I'm using the Too Faced like sculpt, multi-use sculpting concealer and like those three work really well together but if I pull in like the Colourpop no filter concealer that does not work with this foundation at all so I'm not sure what it is but it's very like 
the combo I'm using right now works so like I'm using that like all the time every day um, just because I don't want to mess with it too much just because this is um, hard to use <laughs> um, but I'm very happy about my progress in this one and I don't think there will it, I don't think it will last too many months more um, before I use this one up which is exciting okay so let's go through some eyeshadows that I have in this project uh, first off this one this is the Juvia's Place uh, the Masquerade palette and in this one I have this shade which is called Burkina I haven't used it all since my last update just because I've been fo focusing on the other one and then as soon as I hit pan in that one I started focusing on this one instead this is the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and in this palette I am working on this shade right here and I didn't weigh it uh, before sitting down but I think I'm gonna weigh it because I think somewhere like I look back at the photos I took before my last update and that kind of um, instructed me on which items I should take pictures of this time but I think if I look back into my older photos uh, because I don't think I took a picture of this because I had no progress but if I look back I think I have some so I'm gonna weigh it after I'm done filming and kind of take a picture because I feel like it's a tiny 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 dip but I feel like I'm finally or like I'm starting to get a dip which is exciting and I can actually put like put up a picture like the picture that I'm uh, this is kind of my everyday look uh, where I'm using this and then I'm also using some shadows from my panels eyeshadows and I feel like that um, look works for every day so I'm gonna be focusing on this now and then we will see how long it will take me to hit pan uh, oh I am wearing it today kind of on the inner half of my eyelid um, as kind of my, like my matte shade on the inner half and then on my outer half I'm using this Morphine Jaclyn Hill palette and this one is from the Vogue collection and it's in the shade Bling Boss and in this one I am working on this shade right here which is called Sparks and I also want to mention that uh, the rules that I had when I put this palette into this product is that I had all of the eyeshadows listed like by name in my spreadsheet but now I have switched so now I have all of the palettes listed by uh, name of the palette and then I either get to randomize uh, I haven't quite decided <laughs> but either I will randomize the shadow within the palette or I will just pick one um, because I, I like I want to I want it to be fun and like random but I also want to kind of set myself up for success um, because what I have felt in this product is that I had like four mattes that all they are all like the same depth so like they all have the same job even though they are like completely different colors or like the Burkina and the made to last shade they are very similar but otherwise they did like like they perform the exact same job in a look <laughs> so I had a very hard time um, like hitting my like working on all of them uh, so I've just been doing one at a time and so um yeah if I or like when I randomize again I think that I will like randomize palette and then I will pick from within we'll see uh, how I feel when I do it if I get a palette uh, but as I said I used uh, sparks kind of on my outer corner uh, for this look and up into my crease and it's a very pretty shade and I look forward to using it more I just put in like an eyeshadow in my panels eyeshadows that I think will work with this kind of to bend it out and I did that a little bit today I'm still gonna kind of play around with it because I feel like this is a very intense shade and the way I applied it today I feel like it's a little bit too dark for my everyday um so I'm gonna play around with them and see how I can kind of make that work make like an everyday look work with these two shadows um but I'm excited to be playing around with that as well that's kind of before I used to do a lot of looks with a lot of color and I still love color it's just that I can't use that for my everyday kind of office job um so instead I get to like play around with shadows to kind of either like today I'm wearing this shadow very intensely and then I get to play around and see if I can wear it in a more like subtle way um, for like other or for work or for other applications so yeah we all do what we, <laughs> we can uh, to, to still make it like enjoyable and fun um, but yeah I'm gonna weigh this as well um, although I think I only used it today so I've only used it once since my last update Another item that I haven't used is this W7 Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner and this one is in the shade Iridescent and I don't think I have used it since my last update at all. Uh, I just haven't had um, 
like a look where I can kind of incorporate it. I think I used it a lot like during the spring or quite a bit during the spring as kind of like a glitter liner but I just I haven't used it. And then two items that I uh, got to roll in in my last update because I decluttered one item and I hit my goal on one item. First off we have this makeup store duo contouring in the shade light and in this one I got I pulled in this uh, contour shade which was really funny because I used to have this one in this project and then when I hit pan I rolled it out uh, or I considered that to be my goal mate. and then now I have this one and with this one it will my goal will also be to hit pan in this one and then I will roll it out. I am wearing it today, I'm not wearing it every day because it's not every day that I kind of um, am bothered to do like contouring but the way I just I just kind of put my finger in there and it's like put one line here and then one line here and sometimes I would just pat a little bit on the sides of my nose um, to kind of contour a little bit a very soft contour and then I blend it out with a beauty blender um, but so I have been using this somewhat consistently which I'm happy about and then the last item is this one this is the iconic London illuminator I'm not sure yeah I think this is uh, like the shade original and I got this in a cult beauty lucky bag I would never have picked this up on my own uh, I am wearing it today a little bit under a powder highlighter so I think what you're mostly seeing is the powder highlighter I did actually quite enjoy it today but I haven't used it I might have used it like six times since my last update because I, I keep thinking that I need to apply it first but then like I apply my mo like hydrating primer and then I just I'm so glowy I don't think about like pulling for another very glowy product so I don't think I will be successful with this one in this project I think this one will be here until I get to kind of rolling new items but I'm gonna keep using it um, and see maybe I will find a way to use it that I really like it and maybe this summer I will enjoy it more probably because it's a little bit too dark for me right now I will um, kind of find more ways to use it um, but yeah I find it a little bit hard to work with because it's a little bit hard to blend out but otherwise I think it's a nice a nice product. Oof, I was rambling today, <laughs> I've been talking so much, <laughs> I need to kind of catch my breath. But those were all of the items in this project and I'm excited to have hit my goal on two of them and where in which one was like a finished eyeshadow. Even though it's like the easiest eyeshadow you can use, I'm still really excited about it because I've been working on it for so long. So now we're going to randomize two new items and I can't even remember how many items I have in that spreadsheet. So let's go and find out. In that spreadsheet I have like every makeup item that I own I have in, this, in that spreadsheet I think. I hope it's like up to date. Um, but I have every makeup item and then I also have some face masks and some nail polishes. Just because those are things that I would... Um, kind of appreciate getting in this project. Okay, so in this project I have 843 items. Okay, so I have 843 on my um, pretty random map. So let's pull the first one, which is 640. And then let's randomize the next one, which is 485. So no complexion product. I would like to get like now I already know it's not complexion but I think I could work with getting a concealer that would be fine I'm not padding a concealer it could also be like a highlighter because I'm not going to pan a highlighter soon blush would be hard because I have that cream blush in this project I think any type of eyebrow product or any type of mascara I would enjoy getting in this project uh, or working on and I guess lip products will be fine too I think it will actually be some lip products uh, but we'll see. I also have a rule that I can only work on five eyeshadows at the same like five colored eyeshadows at the same time and now I got the Juvia's Place the Magic palette and I am actually only like I only have those three palettes so I have room in this project to pull an eyeshadow so um, yeah I'm gonna pull out the Magic palette and then I think I'm gonna pick one. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna decide so that is 485. Okay, so the next item that I got is an H&M lip gloss in the shade What A Girl Wants. So I'm gonna... I think I still have that in my collection. Um, I think so. So I'm gonna try 
I might not, but I'm gonna pull those out if I have them and otherwise I will randomize a new product and I will be right back. I'm back and first off I did still own this. This is the H&M lip gloss in the, in the shade What A Girl Wants and it's kind of a, a very pretty kind of dusty, sorry, excuse my palm. Um, but it's a very pretty shade. I thought I might, because I think I got four of these in a set and I think I might have uh, given away one of them uh, that I had not used and uh, so but I still have this one so um, yeah I'm gonna be using this one I am panning another lip gloss in my roulette pan collab but that one is uh, ending very soon um, so I will it will be nice to kind of still pan a lip gloss so yeah happy I got that one uh, okay and then we have the Juvis Place uh, the magic palette and I have like bigger size with bigger pan palettes uh, uh, or bigger pan palettes bigger pan eyeshadows and mine is very it's supposed to be much a lot more orange than this I believe but mine has like lost all the color um, but it is, this is what it looks like on the inside and it's such a pretty palette like you have these two warm rows and then you have these two kind of cool like fun rows and I did swatch some on my hand here. On the top we have this shade which is Ocean. And then we have this one which is Suva, like the peachy pinky. And then we have this one which is Fossil. Um, like that is like a lilac with a blue shift to it. And then also this which is Buso, um, which is like green. And it, I feel like it is like a true green but it almost has a little bit of gold in it. It's a very pretty pretty color. I I'm, I was sure from the beginning that I would put, uh, pick one of the shimmers in here because I'm better with shimmy. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm better with panning shimmers than I am with panning mattes uh, and I feel like they um, go quicker for me or like I'm panning those quicker. And I was kind of considering doing one of the top ones like this one. Yeah, this one or this one uh, because I feel like I could incorporate them into a lot of like everyday looks but then I thought uh, because this shade here is my favorite in this entire palette and you can't tell like it's not that it doesn't have that much use on it so we're gonna go with this one just because it's my favorite and I just haven't shown it enough love and it's such a pretty shade so we're gonna go with that one like the third one hope you can see it like the third from the top it's a very pretty shade I feel like it didn't swatch that great on my hand right now um, but it is like a, a stunning shade um, hopefully you can see like a little bit of the shift in it uh, but yeah those are the items that I will be adding to this project so don't forget to check out like my description box you will find a lot of information in there about other people doing it and also about the creator and like all of that my playlist for this project so you can watch my other updates if you haven't seen them and just follow along in this project and that's gonna be it so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subscribing if you haven't already that will mean a lot to me and i will see you in my next one bye